Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So today I'm going to be reading part 5 about the book about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This part is called Marriage and Friendship. Muhammad's experience of trading together with his excellent reputation drew him to the attention of Khadija radiallahu anha, a beautiful and wealthy widow belonging to a family of merchants. Khadija employed Khadija employed Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to take her goods to trade in Syria. Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam handled the trading very well and brought back more profits than Khadija radiallahu anha had ever made before. Also, Khadija's servant, Maisara, who accompanied Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to Syria, had come to admire and respect him, respect him greatly, and gave a glowing report to her mistress about what a superior person Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was. Muhammad's refined speech and looks had made a profound Im impression upon Khadija radiallahu anha, and she wanted to marry him. When Khadija radiallahu anha conveyed through her friend Nufaisa, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, having great respect for Khadija, happily said yes. The marriage was a joyful one. They were very suited to each other and were blessed with six children, two boys and four girls. However, sad, sadly, however, both sons died at an early age. Khadija radiallahu anha was not only Muhammad's wife, but also his friend and helper, and later his first disciple. When the Quraysh's persecution of the Prophet Muhammad was at his height. Just before Muhammad's decision to leave Mecca, Khadija radiallahu anha died. It was a terrible loss for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the years after Khadija's death, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam married other wives and had one more child. By the last of these wives, a son named Ibrahim, who also died in infancy. In infancy. Zayd ibn Haritha Zayd was traveling with his father Haritha when their caravan was attacked. He was dragged away to a bazaar and sold there as a slave. The person who bought him, Khadija radiallahu anha, thought that he would be useful to her husband, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But the boy's father, but the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not like the idea of slavery. So when the boy's father, Haritha, came to Mecca and begged to give him, to give him back, saying that he would pay whatever he wanted, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told him that he did not want any compensation. If Zayd wanted to go with him, he could take him. Much to Haritha's surprise, Zayd said that he had been shown so much love by the Prophet wasallam that he preferred to stay with him. The Prophet Muhammad wasallam then took Zayd to the Kaaba, and in the presence of Zayd's father and uncle, announced to everyone that this boy was now his son. Haritha and his brother went away happily, knowing that Zayd was in good hands. Speaking the truth, the Prophet Muhammad wasallam once remarked with great wisdom that you should always tell the truth, because that leads to a life of virtue, and that you should stay away from people who tell lies because that leads to a life of evil. Indeed, the noblest quality in a man or woman is honesty. 
It shines forth, showing purity of soul. One who tells lies mars his inner self and sinks deeper and deeper into evil. The Prophet wasallam observed the best utterness to me is that of truth. The traitor who is truthful and trustworthy will be raised on doomsday along with the prophets. Well, that is it for part 5. So come back for part 6 next time. Thanks for watching.